Cindy, one of the difficulties in preparing for an interview is that there are so many different ways that an employer can approach the interviewing process. There's different ways that they actually do the interviews. The common things are that almost everybody now is doing screening of applicants, and that's become more advanced over the last few years. Uh, a lot more employers are requiring drug testing. A lot of them are doing background checks now. It's not expensive to do because there's so much information available on the Internet. Some employers are going so far as to even doing credit checks on employees. The screening process also can be done over the telephone. An employer can save a lot of time by doing a 10-minute interview over the phone with somebody rather than bringing somebody in. I've also noticed that some employers who post their applications on the Internet as part of their online applications ask what are normally considered interviewing questions as part of the application just to give them an idea of is this somebody who has the basic knowledge of what it is that I'm going to need and want them to do. And you know, it's so important now for employers to screen because of the number and volume of candidates that they have. Oh yeah, there are so many qualified people out there that are looking for work. Employers have to find some way to identify which candidates are really the serious candidates mm -hmm. that they want to consider. And this whole screening process is part of helping them do that. Once a person comes in for an interview, one of the processes that an employer might use is what's called a sequential interview. And that's where you might sit down with a human resources professional for about 10 minutes. They'll go over the very basics of the position, just kind of get an idea of do you meet the minimum qualifications we're looking for? Do you seem to have the personality and the character that we're looking for to make this match? And if you do, then they might move you on then to the department head, who's going to go into a lot more detail about the job itself. Um, the responsibilities that they're going to be looking to have this person fill, how your skills are going to match up with that. It's your opportunity then to tell them about the accomplishments you've had. Tell them some stories about some of the things that you've done in your previous positions that show that you're an excellent candidate for the position. And then after that person, if they deem that this is somebody who we should seriously consider, then they'll go on to another person. And in a, a small company, it might be the owner of the company that's going to sit down and speak with that person to decide if this is who we're going to hire. In larger organizations, it might be an executive of the department, a superintendent or uh, another type of supervisor who is going to go into more depth and maybe do some uh, other types of questions that that person may not have been exposed to during the initial part of the sequential interviewing process. Sure, and sometimes as part of those sequential interviews, you might also have an interview with a potential peer, or if you're going to supervise people, it could even be potentially people who are going to be working for you. It, mm -hmm. And sometimes organizations, instead of having you meet with each of these individuals separately, you will in fact meet them all at one time in the form of a panel or a team interview. Oh yeah, that can be really intimidating. It sure you, can. Especially if you're not ready for it when you walk in and you see four or five people sitting there getting ready to interrogate you. Uh, but one of the ways that you can help yourself relax and show to the employers that you're prepared is to make sure that you give each one of them a copy of your resume. I suggest that a person take 10 copies of their resume with them because you don't know how many people may be talking to you during the course of the day and you want to make sure that each one of those folks has their own copy of the, of the resume. The other thing too is during those types of interviews you want to make sure that you make eye contact with the person that asks you the question and then when you get done asking or answering the question and you go on to embellish then you want to make sure you make eye contact with the other folks in the room. Yes, that's very important.